Right, South Africa has a total of 242 correctional centres that accommodate just over 150,000 inmates, with uh, females constituting just under 4,000 of uh, the total. Now, these units are here that we're broadcasting from are a very rare commodity, and this, of course, is uh, where uh, the mothers with babies in prison are able to nurse their children, and this particular one is named after my Albertina Sasulu, and this was opened in 2011 by the then correctional services, Nosiviwe, uh, Mapisa, and Kalkula. Now, in the background, you can actually see one of the inmates. He's, uh, his name is Tando, and he started this, this portrait of my Albertina Sasulu yesterday at one o'clock. I was talking to him, and that's how far he's come, and what an amazing talent he certainly does have. He's serving 22 years for armed robbery. Um, he might be up for parole next year or two years' time, and he was telling me that he really wants to take his art quite seriously, but that's a bit of background there. Let's talk a little bit more about this facility and some of the other facilities here in the country and how they look after their inmates. Delikele Klaas is uh, the commissioner, the Western Cape Regional Commissioner, uh, talking to us about some initiatives to rehabilitate their inmates. Good to have you. Commissioner, thank you very much for being our guest here. Good to have you, Leanne, and the listeners. Thank you. All right. So... Polsmo, where we're broadcasting from here, it's famous, or one could say unfortunately infamous, for uh, the gangsterism that happens here in this particular prison. What are some of the programs to rehabilitate the prisoners? I think um, as correctional services, we are doing various programs aimed at rehabilitating offenders. One of them, as you would see the offenders painting, they were using art yeah. as a tool of rehabilitation. But also we are using offenders to do various things. If you look at the back there, you'll see the paving. That paving was done by offenders. We taught them the skill. We have various other projects, um, like uh, painting, building. Polsma also has a farm. If you go at the back of Polsma, that side, you'll see that there is a farm where we teach offenders... Uh, to plant vegetables and so on. Like if you look at the offenders who are here, the mother to baby unit, one of the things that we taught them to do is farming also. You can see there is a garden there next door where they have planted uh, potatoes, cabbages and so on. So we, we, we do various skills that are, we, we are of the view that when these offenders are released from a correctional center, they can be able to utilize those skills to make a living. Now, this facility that we're at right now, the, uh, the, the, the baby mother unit, this is a, a rare commodity in our correctional facilities around South Africa because a lot of babies actually are in prison with their mother. They sleep in their cells. Uh, is there, a, is there a, a, a time to actually roll this out around the country? And how many, how many facilities actually have this? Um, since 2011, when we launched this facility, we have opened various other facilities similar to this one. There is one at Pizamahate in Grunstadt where a similar activity is currently taking place. We have one at Otsuren Correctional Center. We, have just, we are almost in the process of completing the construction at Van Renstorp Correctional Center, which was built with this uh, facility. We have one at Islandan Correctional Center. What we are trying to do as a department is to make sure that throughout the country, in all our female centers, we, we, we have a facility like this. Yeah. Because currently in the country, as of yesterday, we had 88 uh, babies okay. who are behind bars. Okay. And maybe just to emphasize the point, these 88 babies are not incarcerated. Yeah, exactly. It is their parents who are incarcerated. Exactly. That is why we are trying to keep these babies in a friendly environment where these babies can be able to grow better. Okay. If you were here almost a month ago, you would have seen that, that this place looked uh, a bit rough. Yeah. It was not a place where kids can play. Yeah. Yeah. But with the generous support of the private sector, okay. a ports company, Western Cape, Old Mutual. Um, so it, it's something that's, that's ongoing at the moment. Commissioner, I have to interrupt you. Unfortunately, we'll, we'll try and talk to you again later. But we, we have to take an ad break here so that we can get to the news, albeit a little bit later, ready here on Morning Live. But you continue to watch the program. We'll have more. Perhaps we'll be able to uh, talk to the commissioner again a bit later on. Let's take a quick break. News after this.